Do you think there's any woman on earth that could have resisted Morgan Freeman in his prime? Rosie He's- O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> Gun was in my throat. Oh my god. Welcome back to Hit or Miss TV, ladies and gentlemen. Today we've got a very, very special one for you. It's not me, it's it's this this dude over here. Like he's really, really good looking. There's gonna be a lot of women out there throwing their knickers and bricks at their screens, but I think that <laughs> Right, let's, let's, I don't even know where that came from. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not even going to edit this. I'm going to leave this all in because it shows how professional we are. This is Stevie Cade from Film Trigger, where we are every single Sunday for Drive By News, 5 p.m. UK time, which is going to be midday Eastern time. So let me just um, introduce my co-host over here. How you doing, Stevie? I am fantastic, Ramon. I am ready to watch this movie. It's one of my favorite. Fucking movies. Oh, I love really? this movie. Oh, dude, yes. I you say it's been years since you've watched seven? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been like a year since I've watched seven. Oh, well, um, just, uh, just a year. Yeah, maybe at, at least. At least just a year. Yeah. Uh, it could be wow. less than that. I'm super pumped for it. When I saw the Batman, I saw the comparison and it yep. really just it created that itch I needed to scratch right. I just wanted to watch it. I couldn't think of anybody better to watch it with than my buddy Dur- Dur- Durban from Durbania, but he wasn't there, so I got you instead. So I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you coming in last minute <laughs> wow that was harsh bro this is out right now and on thursday we're doing a live discussion about seven so you can catch that which will be 11 p.m i think uk time five or six p.m your time six p.m uh eastern standard time in the states it'll be, yeah, it'll be 11. april 14th yeah so this thursday 11 p.m uk time so we'll have a live discussion so after you've watched this come and join us on film trigger on thursday so that's youtube.com forward slash film trigger and you'll find it down in the description in the box in the the box. Box. Oh, yeah. box. <laughs> <laughs> that scene, that's, I remember that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting getting so nervous over here. He's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I've been called lots of things, but heart is not one of them. Jim Gordon is excellent in this movie. I think it's well, the head. That's, 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 <laughs> that's the whole point. Neighbors heard them screaming at each other like for two hours. It was nothing new. Crime of passion. <laughs> it's like he didn't give a crap. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I only remember, say, as I say, Sloth, and I know there's others. I don't, again, I don't remember. I thought we might find a bar someplace, you know. Well, I'd like to get to the precinct. It's all the same. You know, not much time for this transition thing. Already feels like Gotham. Only only big difference is is that this is like Gotham in daytime. Yeah, it is. I was just about to say the same thing. Blade Runner, the rain, yeah. I want you to look and I want you to listen, okay? Now we've watched the Batman, I'm really noticing those... Like, even the shading and it's very, very dark, isn't it, this film? Oh, like, yeah, the, the cinematography is yeah, yeah. very, very much uh, on point. That would drive me crazy. So, you know, like when you watch movies like this or like a Rob Zombie movie, do you ever think, ah, oh, it'd be really good to like eat someone? I've often wondered how it would be to eat someone. Hmm, no, I was just curious. That's, that's good. That's good. It, you know, it, there's nothing wrong with the good, <laughs> honest to God, you know, cannibalistic curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say how much I really enjoy watching movies with headphones on? It's better, isn't it? It is. I thought I moved here to get away from tractor poles. <laughs> uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Before she started selling vi- uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, vagina-scented yeah. candles. I'm looking forward to the one because she said she's got one coming out this year as well. I think she said she's doing it for Christmas. She's releasing Bummel. Oh, boy. This guy ain't breathing unless he started breathing spaghetti sauce. He would drown if he he was breathing spaghetti sauce. Good job, Ramon. (laughs) I love this 90s stylistic, man. This is so cool. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, look at this fat fuck. Is that my ex? (laughs) (laughs) That was your ex named Dan. Fucking hell. So this guy's dead, yeah? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> What's in the bucket? What's in it? <laughs> Sorry. 
Jesus He's Christ. Been dead a long time. What about these bruises up here? I haven't figured that out yet. Gun pressed against his head? This is beginning. We've got one dead guy, not three. No motive. Don't even start that big brain of yours cooking on this, all right? Morgan Freeman just raining on everybody's parade in this movie. It's just gonna go on and on and on. You're retiring. This isn't working. It's a personal thing. Maybe it'd be better. Shut up, Mel. <laughs> you don't just get to swap. Give it to me. Yeah, and Brad Pitt's like the young gun, and he? Look at me. Go on, Mel. Let's go on. I think there's a time and a place to swing your dick and that isn't really the right time. Just like sticking his head in that bucket, man. Mm. I thought he was going to say mess. Gotham today on the on the paper. Wouldn't it be crazy if we caught something like that? Like like the newspaper says vengeance or something? Or yeah. something? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me? Could you not do that, please? Oh, poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's just one of the coolest, coolest... Guys, I think. Morgan Freeman? Yeah, man. He's just, he's got so much fucking swagger and cool. Like when yeah. he speaks, when he speaks, you listen sort of thing, no matter what yeah. he's talking about. He he demands presence. Yeah, he does, yeah. You do this work. You were made for it, and I don't think you can deny that. So would you, if you were a, de a detective in this situation, Ramon, would you go back to the crime scene alone? If I was in e England, yeah. If I was in America, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you lot are crazy. <laughs> This was found behind the same refrigerator. There are seven deadly sins, Captain. Gluttony. Such a legend. Sloth, wrath, pride, lust, and envy. I love the way he looks at Brad Pitt for the envy Yeah, one. yeah. It's always can't, raining, isn't it? It can't rain all the time. Fucking Dante. Goddamn poetry writing faggot piece of shit. That's pretty much me anytime I try to read a book, too. I get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another yeah. book. Fuck you. <laughs> I, w I, I was going to be a prick there and say it's an idiot's guide to acting. <laughs> you want your chair? No, you go on. Yeah. Oh, so he actually was hand sort of handing it over to him. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. She'd like to speak to you. Well, in that case, I'd be delighted. On what? Oh, shame. Damn. See, I love this. Look at, look at this savage. He's not even going to say a word to him. <laughs> I knew on our first date that this was the guy I was going to marry. Really? The soothing, relaxing. Vibrating home. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing. Oh <laughs> That's vibrating home. Gould was bound. Right arm was left free. He was handed a butcher's knife. Check out the mm. scale. Oh, Jesus Christ. Imagine it. There's a gun in your face. Which part would you cut off, Ramon? I'd cut one of my arms off. Your arms? Yeah. That's why. That's very extreme. Why not a love handle like this guy? Uh, Plus, it'd be a loss. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything at all? I don't see anything. You sure? Please, I, I, just, I can't do this. Being put in that position, looking at your loved one in those photos mm. like that. Wait. What? Here. This painting, it's upside We all know demons don't come from hell below us. They come yeah. from the sky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the part I remember. This haunted me. Guarantee. I never saw this movie in theaters because I was too young. But I guarantee everyone jumped there during this scene. Yeah. It's still shocking even oh, now, isn't it? Me. You wanna come take a look at this? Jesus. Victor? What the hell? Yeah, it's just Victor. I noticed that before, is his hands gone? Yeah. Oh my god. And sewn up. Whoever did the makeup for this? Yeah, this I think is it's incredible. It's, yeah, it is. I no, that's not, that's not the guy we were thinking it was. Uh, you got what you deserved. <laughs> <laughs> T 
10 out of 10, isn't it, really? It's one of the most haunting things ever. Could you imagine if we got a rated R Matt Reeves Batman movie? Mm. It would have been closer to that. Yeah. Mm. Excuse me. You get hey, this, what are right? You doing? Do you remember Close this? Crime scene. Hey! Yeah! I got a fucking right to be here. Get out! Fucking jerk! Kevin Spacey's first appearance. Yeah. He's a phenomenal actor, though. I know he's a bit of a scumbag, but... Oh, they pissed me off. Okay. It's impressive to see a man feeding off his emotions. See, he insults him without really even raising his voice. That's just powerful. He's experienced about as much pain and suffering as anyone I've encountered, give or take. And he still has hell to look forward to. <sighs> I mean, what, a perfect, what a perfect storm this movie is. That's why she's reaching out to him. She's pregnant. I remember. Right, she, right, she doesn't right. have anybody to talk to. Oh, I see. I've got you. Oh, no, that, yeah, that gives it a bit more sense. Yeah. 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 I forgot about that. To have this baby. You spoil that kid every chance you get. Oh, dear. Yeah, she is very good in this man. Yeah. Why are we out there? Huh? Why, why don't we got to sit here? Rotting, wait until the lunatic does it again. The fingerprints on the wall was what led them to that guy. He cut, he, his hand was cut off. He uses that guy's hand to stage the other crime. I'm trusting you more than I trust most people. I'm good because I'm about ready to punch you. <laughs> if you want to know who's reading Purgatory and Paradise Lost and Helter Skelter, the FBI's computers will tell us. Yes, pre internet detective. Yeah, work. yeah. Came off a computer. See, this is where that whole uh, leap without looking instinct that this character consistently has yeah. in this movie just comes into play. But this could have been the Batman movie by the way everything looks. Everything yeah, all, about it. Only difference is that there's a lot more daytime in this movie yeah, than yeah, yeah. in the Batman, but other yeah. than that. <laughs> It's at the point where I don't, I don't know if Brad Pitt's character's got balls or if he's stupid. That's the double-edged sword of the leap without looking. So something funny here, or not funny, but interesting, fun fact rather, is in this scene, they had to recreate like this scene because Brad Pitt broke his arm. Oh, wow. So they did this. If you notice, his arm is like, Touch like that because mm. he's supposed to be wearing a cast, but they had to write him breaking his arm into the movie so him wearing a cast for the rest of the movie makes sense. And this is where this is where they added that into. Oh. Fuck. So really, he should be dead. That's pretty sick, though, to hold in there, to end it there, to end that, that part of it. And he's like, no, I'm not done playing with you yet. Yeah. Wait. What are you talking about? Fucking shot at it. Can't go in. No, we can't. We, we need a warrant. Cause. Nope. We got probable cause. This, this is where you need Batman. Batman yeah. doesn't need a warrant. Okay. So here comes Batman. <laughs> 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 oh well, the door's open now. <laughs> Everybody. That's pretty must get a lot of headaches then. See this scene right here, this scene, you could have plucked this out of the Batman movie. Yeah. I would believe you. Oh my god, it's that dude's hand. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is straight from the Batman. Like, like just yeah. the red light. Yeah, the, yeah, the red yeah. light. Oh, this is, this is great. Oh, is that the penguin? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. I got you. Somerset! Ah, oh, this is right. Okay, that's where they twigged. It was the guy on the stairs. Gotcha. Bingo. Yeah, wait, let me show you something. This was under the bed. Uh... His only source of fun? No kidding, he got his money. See, this is where his arrogance, the other side of that double-edged sword, like, he, to him, the case is almost closed. He's almost done. Yeah. He's over. He's like, oh, yeah, we got him. What sick, ridiculous puppets we are. What a gross little stage we dance on. I almost didn't notice it had happened, but I suddenly threw up all over him. I think you're right, though. At a younger age, I was impulsive, but with age comes wisdom and that. Hello? Agents more every day. I just had to call and express my admiration. 
Sorry, I had to hurt one of you. Fucking Kevin Spacey, what a moron. Why do you have to go and fuck things up for himself? What a great actor. I, I know, I've seen him on stage as well in London, man. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's the play about Darwin, and he was just, the geezer was just, he's incredible, man. Like, he really is an incredible actor. That's what I was saying earlier, he's just destroyed his own career. Idiot. Yeah. And just that s subtle pause in, in his dialogue he was giving there, you know? I'm yeah. sorry I had to hurt... Someone, One yeah, of he, you. yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I picked up I on that those. straight up, yeah. She caught John Doe's eye. Wild Bill's leather. Come on down. We got leather and stuff. Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> Who tied it down? You or him? He made me do it. He, he, he. That's what I'm saying. This guy's a wicked actor because he's, it makes me feel so uneasy. Made me wear it. Can I did? I, I fucked. This is one of the. This is so uncomfortable. God. Yeah, that's what oh I mean. Oh God, he had a gun in my mouth. The fucking gun was in my throat. That dude's. That dude's life is fucked. Hey, how did you get like this? I wanna know. There wasn't one thing I can tell you that. Do you think there's any woman on earth that could have resisted Morgan Freeman in his prime? Rosie He's O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about people. Fucking crazies. No, no, yes. we're not. No, no. We're, we're, we're talking about everyday life here. The path that Brad Pitt's character goes down after this movie does not seem like it'd be the path of where Morgan Freeman's at. No, no. What is it at? Uh, sleeping pills. Oh, shit. Call for help and you'll live, but you'll be disfigured. Or you can put yourself out of your own misery. Cut off her nose. Just bite her face. <laughs> I'm requesting that you keep me on as your partner for a few more days. See, that's what I'm trying to say. Morgan Freeman can't just walk away. Yeah. Detective. He's so calm, isn't he? Well. Detective! You're looking for me. Jesus. It's called blood, officer. He cuts the skin off the tips of his fingers. That's why we couldn't find one single usable print in his apartment. <sighs> Right See, at this point, his character seems more like Joker well, than it does the Riddler. Yeah, yeah. No, he's just pissing in our faces. We're just taking it like idiots. For the first time ever, you and I. For the first time ever <laughs> in the one week we've worked together. <laughs> they found blood from Doe, from him slicing his fingers, blood from the woman whose face he cut off, and blood from a third party, mm -mm -mm. as yet unidentified. What the fuck are they doing? Oh, why are... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just two dudes shaving their chests. What, you don't shave your chest, bro? <laughs> nah. You don't do it with your other bros? That's what we mm. do here in the States. What's mine say? <laughs> Dude. Dude. <what's> mine say? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Wanting people to listen, you can't just tap them on the shoulder anymore. You have to hit them with a sledgehammer. It's about sending a message. Two months from now, no one's going to care. No one's going to give a shit. No one's going to remember. Oh, you're going to regret those words. So when this big thing happens, you be sure and let me know. Because I wouldn't want to miss it. Oh, don't worry. You won't. That's where Morgan Freeman's experience comes into play with that shot because he knows not to say anything to fuck with someone that crazy because he's seen this sort of shit before and he knows he ain't joking. Do you know what I mean? He didn't even have to say anything. He just looked at him in the mirror. Do you know that you're insane? Masturbating in your own feces? Do you just stop and go, wow, it is amazing how <laughs> fucking crazy I really am? <laughs> See, Ramon, what Brad Pitt is doing to Kevin Spacey is what you do to me during my live streams. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. Nothing wrong with a man taking pleasure in his work. Wait a minute, I thought... All you did was kill innocent people. Is that supposed to be funny? A disgusting man who could barely stand up? There's a line here I don't like. The lawyer and you both that must line. have secretly been thanking me for that one. Seem to remember us knocking on your door. And I seem to remember breaking your face. <laughs> <laughs> You're only alive because I didn't kill you. That's true. Okay, sit back. It's true, though. Morgan Freeman hasn't said a fucking word. That's what I'm trying to say. He don't need to, does yeah. he? That's what makes him so fucking good. Getting him out. Still not saying anything. What do you got? Dead dog. I didn't do that. <laughs> it's close. Down, down. Can you imagine being this delivery guy? Ow! Jesus Christ, man, don't shoot me! <laughs> Step away!
That is so, so messed up, bruv. Said he wanted it here at exactly seven o'clock. Put it down. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, go. <laughs> You're not gonna let him take his van? I'm sending the driver out on the way. Poor dude. Oh. It's my first day, man. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Look, it's just the fun moving and the fun. Do I, don't I? I'm gonna open it. <sighs> I really like how they never show exactly what's in the box. Stay away from me now. Don't, don't, don't come in here. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. What? Fuck. I'm trying to tell you how much I admire you and your pretty wife, Tracy. <sighs> What'd you fucking say? Oh, my God. I took a souvenir. Her pretty head. Oh my god. I down. saw you with the box. What was in the box? Become vengeance, did not. Become vengeance. She begged for her life to take. And for the life of the baby inside of her. Oh my god. Oh my god. And that is how you break a man. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ. That was so, so well done, though. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. There were no heroes in this movie. And how'd you even get past that? Do you know what I mean? I'll be around. Yeah, in other words, if you ever need me, that is. That's how I read that. I love how these credits roll at the end. It just adds to the fuckness of this movie. Yeah. <clears throat> See, I fucking love this movie. It, it, it's there. There's no. There's no winners. There's no. There's nothing. Well, I guess technically John Doe was the winner in this movie. He was that, that, that was it. That he won. That would have been the one thing that would have made the Batman a little bit more impactful is if Batman didn't win. I mean, I guess he kind of didn't, did he? Because the 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 city flooded, and then uh, like even though he learned something about himself, he didn't really save the city. He just earned their trust a little bit more. But I think it's a better movie than what I remember. I think because I was so young. There were moments in it I was thinking of things like Silence and the Lambs with um, Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill, yeah, yeah. just like the way it was so grimy and so just disgusting, everything around. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. This is the first time we've done a sort of collaboration on doing a reaction to a movie, and that was really good, as I say, man. Like, I know you love this film. Yeah, I didn't realize going into it that you like, I mean, hadn't yeah. seen it for that, that long. Yeah, because it was one of those that I enjoyed at the time, but there's serial killer movies that I've seen that I put higher in the rank into this my number one of all time is a film called manhunter which came out in 1986 and it's about a guy called the two fairy hannibal lecter's in it it's the one that came out before silence of the lambs now watching this again it's got a similar tone and feel to what that does it's got that it's very very dark Wait, um, the character hannibal lecter or like is it yeah, an yeah. actual like prequel to hannibal like was no 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 manhunter basically manhunter got made it's just wonderful and about 10 years later, Silence of the Lambs came out. It's just that I don't know how, I've never really sort of read into the story of how that was first, that first came about. Did like did the Silence of the Lambs come off the back of that? I don't know. I mean, you like seven, so you will fucking love Manhunter. Don't forget as well, ladies and gentlemen, every Thursday as well in the evenings, we do our reactions to the James Bond franchise, so you can check them out on the channel. All the links will be down in the description. So thank you very much for watching. Join us on Thursday. Thank you to... Stevie, the legendary Stevie Gay.